Hi, Jerry Smith. Well, hi, Becky Rump. <laughs> I'm happy to be here with you and share a good feeling about our family, Mel and Margaret Limer, who became more than just neighbors. They're special people, but here today we're interested in talking maybe more about Mel. My first impression of Mel would be a man with a smile that was a little suspicious. He might just have done something that he didn't broadcast, but he had a plan. And that smile continued on as the years went by. He had the only weed-free garden at Mosiah Church where they furnished the garden area. Wow. When he backed his old pickup out and turned the corner and shifted gears, it would stick in second gear sometime. It was only two blocks, so he would just go on with that. When he was coming out to the campus a further distance and it stuck in second, my doorbell would ring and as I went by I'd grab a screwdriver knowing that I was going to shift it in out of second gear so he didn't have to drive that distance. <laughs> Never a word was said, he just had the hood up when I got out there and then he was in the cab and we just waved and went on. That's a hoot. It, it's just what we did. Isn't that funny? It, it's funny. And it's and a neighbor. I, I mentioned to you about him telling my stories. He also sent a young girl down to Kenny Johnson City Service because her car was riding hard and she, he suggested that she have summer air put in her tires. <laughs> so that, as you can see, he had a good time and so did students. They learned so much that they'll never forget. Absolutely. He affected so many people. <laughs> those, those students who were taking chemistry for nursing, yes. he held them in the palm of his hand with his stories. He helped apply all those concepts so that they would remember them and use them. And I, now, as the years have gone by, we've used the hospital myself. I've had a seizure and I've had a stroke and in every case, one out of three or four knew Mel Weimer. You got that right. And he meant something to them. That's right. I really did feel honored just to know him. Wow. And Me too. Then that smile that I've talked about and mentioned came in, and when he walked his daughter, down the aisle, he had a mile wide smile. I'll bet. Because he had practiced all those years that smile. Isn't that something? I think he shared that with you. <laughs> You've got a pretty great smile too, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just had a good time. But I believe that nobody ever got more out of life than he did. Mm. It just, whatever was the occasion he made it fit with his life and he cared that it came out okay for others. That's exactly right. I guess that's about as simple as I can get it. It's beautiful and I'm going to walk outside and do a video of the piece that you wrote and we had put onto plexiglass and it is currently outside of the room that is named for him by his children. And so I'm just gonna go out here for a second and focus in on this lovely sign. There it is, Sharing and Caring. Written by Jerry Smith, but those were words that you used to describe your good friend and neighbor. Well, the other thing I would say in connection with the college, coming here, being a few hundred class, mm -hmm. and today and in the last few months I've seen progress made that has pro made promises of what can happen in 
in Burlington, Iowa, as 4,000 community area students graduate, mm -hmm. go out and maybe 3,500 or so stay in the area and became, become employees for employers here who need them. That's exactly right. And this is the classroom. It's a large lecture hall that's being named for Mel Limer. And this is where some of those students are going to capture that knowledge and use in the workplace. Thanks for representing the Limer family, Jerry Smith. Well, it's just an honor <laughs> and fun when I think of Mel and all he achieved, like 17 retirements. That's right. That might be a record. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the things that I do remember. And he was a part of that, making it possible for those students to stay here because he got them interested and they probably might not have made it with just another person that didn't have his way of teaching. That's right. He made the difference. Yeah. Thanks for helping make our donor appreciation event so special, Jerry. <laughs> it was an honor to be a part of whatever goes on here I care about. I know you do. Southeastern Community College and you have become very good friends. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.